Hello everybody and welcome to this very special episode of Draw With Rob, recorded especially for the British Book Awards 2020. My name is Rob Biddulph. There's a picture of me with my dog Ringo. And I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me for books like this one. It's called Blown Away. This is my very first picture book with Harper Collins. It won the Waterstones Children's Book Prize. Very proud of that book. Maybe you've seen this one. It's called Odd Dog Out. It's all about a sausage dog. It doesn't fit in with all the other sausage dogs. But the thing that you might know me best for, certainly at the moment, is this, this series, Draw With Rob, which I started to record these videos, these draw along videos um, for children right at the beginning of the lockdown period back in March. And basically, I just wanted to help parents out who are gonna be stuck at home with their kids and looking for things to do. And these videos have gone slightly viral. I think we've had about three million views up until now over 30 million impressions. Do you know what? I don't even know what an impression is, but it's a big number, isn't it? It's gotta be impressive. And here's the activity book version of Draw With Rob, published by Harper, Harper Collins. I think this one's out around about now, in fact. So that's all very exciting. But today, I thought we would draw a character from my forthcoming picture book, which is coming out this September. It's called Dog Gone, again published with Harper Collins. It's all about this chap here called Teddy, a little pug dog who he takes his owner uh, out for a walk, his owner Dave, he goes out, persuades him to go out for a walk. There they go, they have lots of fun. It's a nice autumnal book, but then things start to go a bit wrong a bit later on, but I don't want to spoil the story for you. But I thought that today we would draw a picture of Teddy the pug together. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper, something to draw with, a nice pen or a pencil, maybe something to color in with a bit later on. Now. I should tell you how these videos work. So basically, when I go out to festivals and school visits, that kind of thing, I always do a draw along exercise at the beginning and I always ask the kids, how many of you don't think you're very good at drawing? And lots of hands go up and I say, well, do you know what? Everybody can draw. It's just a question of knowing the order to do the drawing in. So that's where I come in. So it works like this. I do a little tiny bit of the drawing on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause the video and you copy exactly what I do. We're just gonna do a tiny little bit at a time. Uh, then you start the video up, I'll draw a bit more, then you draw, then I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And we do it sort of this little, like a little jigsaw puzzle and it all comes together at the end and I promise you, you're gonna be surprised at how good your drawing is at the end. It's always a successful way of drawing together. So I, it doesn't matter how old you are, join in, pick up a pen and let's have a go, shall we? Right, we are gonna start by we're gonna start our drawing down in the bottom right hand corner of our picture because we're gonna sort of, we're gonna spread that way across our page. So what I want you to do, right down in this corner, sort of about here, I want you to draw a little sort of curved line that comes down and goes along like that. Okay, so we start to go down. Let me sort of start going along horizontally like that. Then from this end, we're just gonna go down slightly, and again, we're gonna curve around, like that. It's a nice, easy start. Then let's continue that line along, parallel to the bottom of the page, and we're just gonna follow our curve up and around, but we're gonna go just a little bit higher to about there. Then we're gonna curve around here, and we're gonna come back along the top, the way on the top, but we are going to stop before we get to this area here at the end. We're going to stop short of this corner here. Then from this point, let's curve back down and join up with that original line that we did. So there we go, a nice easy start for our drawing. Now then, I want you to draw an upside down semicircle in this area here. So just a nice, easy upside down semicircle. This is gonna be, I might as well tell you which part of the dog we're drawing. This is gonna be our dog's nose. Obviously this is the dog's mouth. Nice smiley picture we're gonna be doing today. Then I want you to draw a vertical line joining up the mouth and the nose, just like that. Teddy the dog, Teddy the pug, he's got one tooth that sticks up here, so we are just gonna draw a little sort of point, like a triangle shape, that sticks up there. And that's Teddy's tooth. 
starting to really take shape now this picture now I'm just going to switch pens because I need a slightly thinner pen for this bit we're going to draw our dog's nostrils on the nose here this is how I do those we're going to go up and we're just going to go round in a little swirl like that and then we're going to do a mirror image of that swirl on this side there we go a little pug nose let's give him some whiskers shall we just four little dots on each side one two three four lovely Okay, now it's time for the eyes. So what I want you to do is next to this sort of snout area that we've drawn, I want you to draw a fairly big circle, like that. It's gonna go right up to the edge of our page. And then we're gonna do another one over here, but this one has to go behind that tooth. Try and make it roughly the same size as the other circle. But don't worry too much, because I actually think, and this is what I tell children actually, I think little imperfections in drawings, as that's where the, the charm of a drawing lies or a piece of art lies. We like to see brush marks. We like to see sort of slightly uneven lines. I think it just, if everything was too perfect, you might, we might as well do it on a computer, might not we? So I always tell children, don't just screw up your piece of paper and start again, just keep drawing. Okay, I'm gonna resort to my slightly thinner pen again now because inside each of those circles, we need to draw a smaller circle. One there. And one there. Remember, we're still going to go behind our tooth if we need to. And now let's give the dog some pupils. Now I'm going to have our dog looking up. Do you remember I said the drawing's going to spread out that way? So we are going to be drawing something up here. So I want to do our dog looking up into that area of the piece of paper. So we're going to do our pupils in the top left area with that eye, like that. Nice and easy. Now lots of people, when they're drawing um, a character, they tend to start with the outline of the head. And sometimes I do that too, actually, but it's usually best to start with the features, as we've done today, because sometimes you will draw the outline of a head and then you'll have to squeeze all the features into it because you haven't sort of thought, thought it through properly. So it's actually better to draw the features first and then fit your head to the features, because it's much, easier that way around. So that's what we're going to do today. So Teddy's, Teddy's head, we're going to start down here. Now I want you to, we're going to be coming up and around like that basically. So you need to kind of aim with the, the starting point of your line so that it's going to go up and it's going to sort of circumnavigate the features. I don't know if that's the right word. Mind. But we, we are going to come up here, pretty straight line. We're gonna curve around, nice curve around here. And when we get to the point, just sort of above the nose, we're just gonna add a little tuft of hair like that. So a few little sort of loops and lines, a little tuft of hair before we continue out and go off the edge of the page down there. And that is gonna be our Teddy's head. Now the last thing we need to do to add to this dog is pug, his pug ear. Pug's ears are quite easy to draw. What you need to do is first of all, we're gonna start sort of level with the top of his hair and we're just gonna draw a diagonal line that just brushes the side of his head like that. So like a sort of tangent to this kind of curve here. And then from the bottom, we are gonna go up a little bit, maybe in a slight curve like that about here and then let's just join them all up so it's just a simple triangular pug here like that and then we're just going to add a line that goes from the head up to that side there and it's like his ears kind of folding over now this side I might just add a little bit a little suggestion of the other ear so a mirror image of what we've done here just like that there we go our little pug peeking in to the bottom right hand area of our page. Now then, our pub, our pub? That was a Freudian slip, wasn't it? Oh, do you remember pubs? Our pug is dreaming about something, so we need to give him a little thought bubble. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add just a little circle next to the ear here. Then we're gonna add a slightly bigger circle next to that. And then a slightly bigger one again, above that and off to the right. So do 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 like that progressively getting bigger. Then we are gonna draw a big old thought bubble. So this sort of a shape, so sort of like a 
a rectangle but with rounded corners like that so you can see these little brush marks that I've got I'm using my brush pen but I really like those little slight imperfections they just give the drawing a bit of character I think right then so what could our pug be dreaming about <gasps> well he's a competitive little thing and when it comes to awards like the nibbies he would very much like to win a nibby so do you know what that's what he's going to be dreaming of so we're going to draw a little nibby here so at the bottom of our little thought bubble i would like you to draw a small rectangle like that okay then coming out of we're going to put our brush slightly left of center of our little rectangle and we are going to draw a curve line like that and then we're going to do exactly the same a mirror image on the other side like that and we're going to go up to a point like that i'm not sure how accurate this is in terms of a real nibby but you're going to get the idea so we're going to go up to a point but we're not going to join because at the top we're going to draw kind of like a little circular shape like that then coming down through the middle of that circle, we're gonna draw a straight line and then a little circle at the end, like that. And there's gonna be our little pen nib. Pen nib trophy that he is dreaming of. Like that. Let's add another rectangle to this. A bit smaller. And on that we are gonna write Teddy, which is the name of this dog. Maybe your dog has got a different name, so you choose a different name for your dog if you would like to. Like that. There we go. We'll add a few little lines just around it, like that. <gasps> to just draw a bit more attention to the fact that, ding, he is dreaming of winning a nibby. Okay, so that's pretty much the drawing part finished with. It's time to colour now. So, whenever I do my colouring, I go into super speed mode. So grab some coloured pencils, take your time, choose whatever colour palette you like. I'm going to sort of try and stick to actual pug colours for mine, but you'll see how accurate I get. Use any materials you like. I think I'm going to have a go with coloured pencil. But I'm going to see you back here in about 30 seconds or so because I'm going to go into super speed mode. You'll be very impressed with how quick I can colour. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So there we go. You should end up with something that looks a little bit like my one here after, I've, after you've colored it in. So I'm very excited to see what you come up with. What I ask people to do usually is I get them to take a picture of their picture and then they can share it with me on social media using the hashtag draw with Rob. I really like to see what everyone comes up with because everyone's drawings look slightly different. And it's really amazing actually we all start exactly the same starting point and we do the same sorts of things but everyone still looks different and that's the beauty of art isn't it now listen i hope you've enjoyed drawing along with me today in this special edition of draw with rob it's been really lovely to talk talk to you today i just want to say a personal thank you to the entire book industry for how they have reacted to the the um, lockdown period and this pandemic that we're going through at the moment. It's been a real inspiration. People hand selling books, going out on their bikes, delivering books, just keeping the industry going. Fantastic online community uh, in the in the book industry, in the children's book industry in particular, has been a real kind of fillip during what is been a very difficult time. So my personal thanks to all the people who work in the book trade and the booksellers and other authors, that kind of thing. It's been really um, a pleasure and I'm very proud to be involved in this industry. Now listen, 
Congratulations to all the winners and the nominees tonight. I've really enjoyed um, sharing this drawing with you. Can't wait to see what you come up with. And you know what? I'm going to see you soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.